the cuckoo clock started well, but I feel like it kind of went downhill. This is a 1950 MGM cartoon directed by Tex Avery, and it starts off very dark and atmospheric. And we have this cat who is clearly losing his mind, and he's not quite sure why it is. And then it occurs to him, it's the cuckoo clock. And he does everything he can to try and capture this cuckoo and obviously hurt this cuckoo and get it out of his life. And the cuckoo obviously gives as good as it gets and does, plays various tricks on the cat and continues to torment the cat. It's, it's, it's a decent narrative structure. It hasn't just gone, here's a cuckoo, the cat's going to try and get it. We actually have this mental health aspect and the cat's got this really strong motivation. And that side of it, I think, is pretty well developed. But once all that's been established... That's when I feel like the pacing slows down. And I feel like the cartoon didn't know what it wanted to be because at one point, the cuckoo the cuckoo bird goes into a mouse hole. And I'm thinking, well, that's just a bit bizarre, to be perfectly honest. Are you wanting this to be about a cuckoo bird or a mouse? And I feel like they were... I don't know if they were trying to just pad the space out and that's all they could think of, but I feel like there are many better things they could have done. And a lot of it just wasn't that interesting. So I feel like, yeah, they've got a lot of attention to detail to the cat's, to the cat's personality, to the backstory and the cat's motivation. But the actual events that then unfold, I feel just were not that interesting. And I don't love the design of the cuckoo. I don't hate it, but there's just something about it that I think is a little bit irritating and I can't quite put my finger on it. So if you do feel the same way, I'd love to know what you think. But for me, the style of animation sometimes was good, sometimes not so much. The pacing wasn't that pleasing either. I feel like some things took longer to develop, to develop than others. And because I wasn't loving a lot of the things, that was um, a mild inconvenience. But I do appreciate the backstory, this cat having a, a really well-developed personality, a really strong backstory and motivation. So there are certainly things about the cuckoo clock that worked. And it's very atmospheric and I like that. So I'd recommend it because there are good bits in it, but I definitely think there's still room for improvement.